Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week I've got a few things to show you. I have received these refills from Taser. They very kindly sent me these because I love using this one here. So this is their tape runner. You will have to buy them obviously like this first and then you keep the kind of holder and then you just purchase the refills afterwards. I really like it. In the past, tape runners haven't been my favourite thing, I'm not going to lie. It's something I find myself fighting with. <laughs> um, they get gunged up and clogged and all that kind of stuff. But these ones I've never really had an issue with. I really enjoy them. So yeah, they're all the refills I've been sent. I will share the links with you. Anybody who, you know, is new, maybe hasn't seen something like this before, it's just a glue runner. You just literally do that. I find this one really easy. Like I said, I've had other branded ones before and they have not lasted, you know, long at all. So yeah, that's your sticky, obviously, tape. And then you just will, you know, I use it a lot for my mats and my layers. And then you just, yeah, push it all down. And um, like I said, it seems to be working well. I've not had my cards fall apart. Um, it's obviously good for speed if you're doing multiple things so I really like it and the other one I enjoy as well is this one here which is the glue stamp and this one you just stamp down and it's great for if you're doing small things as well so if you've got something small you want to stick down can you just see there you go just the little squares perfect so if you are sticking some small mats and layers down you literally just do you know all the corners one in the middle and then stick it down again seems to be working really well so i have shared these before i've got them over on my amazon storefront linkedin but i'll link them below as well for you but like i said really enjoying this one and um yeah i've got my other spare there so they sent me i've got 10 refills so i've got enough now to uh yeah last me a while and then i have just received these these have just arrived today and these are well I haven't got the ones that are called the life-changing blending brush. Basically, it's exactly the same brush as the cosmetic brush, but a company or some companies now are changing the name of them to make them more craft-related and for using with your inks, and they've changed them to life-changing blending brushes and also increased the price by like triple the price and more. These cost me, I think, $6.99. I've got two packs, um, and I thought I'm not gonna be paying out 40 to 50 pound and it is an identical brush. Now, I, I know some of them may be slightly different, and if anybody has those ones, do let me know, but I thought I'm gonna try them for the first time. I'm not paying out that much money. So I've picked up two boxes purely because the reviews and the people that I've seen use them say that the ones that they tend to go for are these sizes here, and maybe this one. These ones here don't tend to really get used, so I thought I'll get this one here, so I've got the four there, and then I've also got the four in this pack. So these ones are designed in Britain, and they look just like makeup brushes. Now, I did choose the kind of pinky rose gold ones, purely because I thought they'd be, you know, look pretty when they're stored away and stuff, and Oh no, I thought I got two extra there. So yeah, they're just super, super soft. But like I said, those ones don't really tend to get used. Um, I'm not saying I won't use them, but they're not going to be, I guess, when you're doing very small areas, then yeah, they, you know, you may use them, but they'll probably go in their own separate pot. Or they might get used maybe with paints and things like that. I'm sure they will get used. But these are the bigger ones and they are extremely soft brushes. So again, obviously you can't feel these, but they are just packed, absolutely packed with thousands and thousands of bristles. And you can see there. And so many people now are starting to use these instead of the sponge brushes. So I thought, right, I'm gonna try them. So I'm gonna quickly show you what you do. This is the first time with me using them. So I'm just gonna bring in my barn door distress oxide and carved pumpkin. And we'll just work with those ones and from what I've seen is they literally just brush it on and then you just go in and it is meant to be actually first impressions are really good you don't get any marks you don't get any lines you don't get any it doesn't matter what kind of blending sponge I use whether it's the square or the circular ones I always get a line or a circle when they come to you know when they actually hit the the card stock but already I'm really pleased with that. So I am not buying those really expensive ones and shame on you companies that are and I reckon soon they're going to be on the TV channel network you know crafting channels if they haven't already and I haven't seen it. First impressions these are really really good. Now they did also someone did say is also once you brush it off a bit 
you can then use that same one in another colour. And I did see a girl use it and it didn't, yeah look, if I start going into this it's very faint, you can hardly see, so all the colour has almost come off. So I'm going to use the same one and it's not contaminated that at all. And now let's bring this up here and see how well we get, I can't believe how easy that is going on, that is amazing. Wow, I can see why they get the name Life Changing, but don't buy the Life Changing ones, just buy cosmetic brushes. Don't waste your money. Like I said, eight pound. Wow, that is, <laughs> that is pretty good. Look at that really lovely blend. And I haven't got any lines. Sorry, my focus is just going out there. Here we come back in again. There we go. So I can work that a little bit more. Wow, 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 wow. But that is a really lovely like ombre. That is beautiful. <laughs> I think I've really surprised myself. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Honestly, really was not expecting it to be that good. So yeah, let's flip this over. And just see how much comes off. But they said you literally just brush them. Sorry, my bangles are probably annoying people. Let's put one underneath there just said you just literally brush it off and the the color will just that's it once it's come off yeah you can't feel it on there or anything and no I think that's just from me putting my fingers down on there so I can see why they say the bigger ones I mean it'd be great really if a company would bring out but then this is when they're going to shoot up the prices would bring out maybe just you know these sizes or something because I can see why people don't really go for the smaller ones. Let's just try, let's try these little tiny ones. Because like I said, I think they will work though if you're doing, yeah, mm, yeah it does work. But you get, it kind of, if I bring it up, it kind of does that. Like squashes, it goes out the other way. But still okay. I'm sure it would work in something. Yeah. Just want to try one more. I want to do some dark colours just so you can again get a fair. Let's try chipped sapphire and um, I'm going to blend it into pine needles. Let's just see how that works. And you'll really be able to see um, if we can get the colour. So I'm going to use that same one. So let's just go into the blue. And it said you don't really need to, because I know with the foam ones you really have to work them into your kind of ink pads. But let's just, wow, it is really good guys. <laughs> Do you know what, even if I just had this one for the £8, I would have paid that because it is, they are certainly, yeah, life changing and so quick and easy. I am really, really, really surprised at how well this has gone on. And these are makeup brushes. Don't, don't, don't buy the ones that are actually branded as life-changing because it is a rip-off. I was refusing to pay that. So I'm just gonna just take off the color here. I mean, it has stained, but I don't think, let's bring it onto this one. Yeah, look. You're not getting much excess at all. Bearing in mind that's the yellow. So other than maybe a stainage, because I wouldn't imagine, I don't, I haven't seen anybody say about washing these because they're so compacted, I would have thought they're gonna take quite a while to dry and you might end up getting maybe mold in them and things like that. So I'm probably, I mean, there's nothing, nothing coming off these at all. I'm really pleased with it. So then I'm gonna go in now. You can see it's not left any blue. Whereas you get that with the sponges, you can't just, I see people and they've got literally every Tim Holtz colour and every sponge stuck underneath these and it's really expensive and I'd rather spend my money on stamps than <laughs> things like that. So now I'm just going to bring in this colour. Let's see if we can get a really nice blend. I really feel like I'm using less ink than I did with the sponges. This is amazing guys. I'm really not trying to sell this. Well I am because I would think you should get it but this is awesome. 
and then I'm going to go in again let's see I would say what I'm probably going to have when I use these is just a scrap bit of card to the side because there's a bit more green coming off that one now but there's not a lot of excess coming off and then I'm just going to go in with the blue now and just come back in I am completely sold on these these are absolutely amazing that would have taken me ages to do that and I've instantly got a really nice background to now you know use as I please so these are way above my expectations this is just amazing so yeah I will share the links to the ones that I used you, you don't have to have rose gold you can choose just normal black and um, yeah I think these are br wicked I like that you're not going to need many I mean, I'd probably just be fine with just those two, but unfortunately the packs come with all of this. But I think they are going to be, along with them, they're going to be my go-tos, definitely. So what have I got there? So I would say, yeah, I mean, if you just want to get one, one box, I think one box is going to be more than enough, especially if you maybe don't do a lot of blending or stamping, things like that, or, you know, using inks in general. But you can just see there what I've created with complete ease, and that's the first time... You've seen me just take them out and use them. Apart from a little bit of stainage, there is hardly very little. If I was to just keep staying here now and just work that for a while, you know, yeah. What I will probably do is keep one for dark colours and one for light. Maybe put a little sticker there or something with just light and dark. So that way I know I'm not going to, you know, if I was to put that now on my yellow ink pad, you know, maybe I would get a little bit of the colour transferring, but otherwise... Yeah, brilliant. And they feel really comfortable as well. I like that I, sometimes I get a really bad wrist ache or, you know, holding those tiny, and I'm on about these things here, you know, holding that and really, really working it can be, yeah, can take quite a lot of, you know, of hard work. So this, yeah. And then obviously if you want to keep some to put your makeup, for, you know, your foundations on as well, you can, but I think they're great, guys. Love them. Okay, so next um, I've got these from Hobbycraft. They're just some ribbons. I don't tend to go for these satin ones because in the past they're just the kind of ribbons, very cheap. And if you've got any dry skin or nails, maybe, you know, a little bit rough, they hitch and they just, yeah, they're not very good. And if you pull them too tight, they actually pull all of the kind of weave away from each other. But these ones seem okay. They feel really nice. They're a little bit thicker and I just needed a, a nice white and a cream and then I just thought that yellow was going to be really nice with obviously summer and I loved that wine colour which I used on my bouquet flower box this week but you get 15 meters and they were a pound each so I should be able to link those below um, because they're from Hobbycraft and obviously they're online so yeah just thought they were nice they have lots and lots of colours as well so I always say if you're starting up these kind of ribbons are great because they're very inexpensive and you get a lot so they will last me a while then my lovely Nan, she picked me up this from, I did have the little tag, but it came off, but it's from Sainsbury's in the UK and it was a pound. It was in the wedding section and they're basically table scatters and you just sprinkle them over the table. But these are really nice. I don't have the copper colour hearts. You can see them there. They're just little heart shaped sprinkles and they will be used in a shaker card. No doubt very soon because I love making shaker cards. But yeah, I like the little kind of test tube that they come in as well. So that's always handy to keep things in and just get the rest of those in there. There we go. So yeah, that was very sweet of her. And she said they were only a pound. So if you're going to do your weekly shopping, have a little look in the wedding section. You might pick up some. I don't know if there's other colours, but yeah, just thought they were quite cute. And then also in Hobbycraft, I picked up this. This is their Lux, Lux Craft collection. And it's the ombre glitter pack. So this is a premium card. You get, it's A4 size, you get 16 sheets, 220 GSM, it's acid free, and this is the rose gold. But it's half price. So these are actually normally £6 for the 16 sheets, but I got them for three. There's other ombre kind of blends, but I really liked the rose gold, and I thought this is going to go really nicely with my Happy You collection by Dovecraft. Just bring out one of them here. You can just see. It's a really smooth glimmer kind of paper. It's not a glitter as such. It's a very, very smooth, um, yeah, glimmer paper. And I love it, really, really like this one. Just a nice kind of subtle sparkle in the background there. Um, and you'll certainly be seeing that used a lot when I use the Happy You collection. I also popped in the works again, because whenever I'm near it, I go in. And I'd seen these in there, they're always in there. And you get three of these paper bags for a pound. I bought two packs. 
and they're really thick. I've got a project lined up to use these, so again, you will be seeing that soon. But the reason I love these ones so much is they're really thick card or paper. You can hear how thick it is. Some paper bags are really, really thin, um, but these ones are not. So yeah, I've got, like I said, I've got six now, and I think that's all I'm gonna need for the project that I've got in mind. So yeah, I've got those. And then lastly, I put in an order with Hunky Dory. I am a huge fan of the For Love of Stamps collection. I have quite a lot of theirs now. Um, I find them to be quite timeless. They're just beautiful images. And um, I tend to always buy ones that I know I will use, you know, a lot. And it doesn't matter whether I use it now or in 10 years time. They will, you know, still work and be, you know, well loved. So I have this one here. Now, I did get quite a good deal because... All of these stamps, plus the double-sided sticky sheets here that I'll share with you and talk to you about in a minute, came to 29.87, that was including postage. So I thought that was really good, but I did get a deal with these. I think it was like if you buy three, you got one, no, buy two, got one free. But also I found a voucher code. So all I do sometimes when I do an order online is I will, whatever company I'm with, I will then do a separate search for, and I'll just type in hunky dory voucher codes. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but this one did. And I can't, it's not broke, it's broke it down, but it's just saying discount eight pound. So with the, the deal with the stamps and then the discount code, that was a total discount of £8. So this would have all actually come to £38, but I got it for £29, including postage. I thought that was quite good. Considering these on their own are usually like £7.99, £6.99, I got these all for a bargain. So I've got this one here, which is Delicious Donuts. You've got your large donut here, the other donut and all the different toppings. This is the Krispy Kreme logo, but it says happy birthday with sprinkles on top. If you stamp that in green and then the writing in red, as they've done with some of the design team inspiration, it looks just like a Krispy Kreme one and some really clever um, DT on their team done six of these on a card and then with this and made it look like a box of six Krispy Kreme donuts and I just thought that was wicked and there is a special lady in my life who is obsessed with donuts so this will be no doubt a card will be made for her using this set here so this one the delicious donuts this here was 199 which is a bargain they're photopolymer they're just beautiful stamps and yeah love it so head over there you know, delivery's quick as well, and you can't go wrong, love their stamps, always have. Then I got this one here, this is Shop Till You Drop, and this one was 199 And the reason, again, I love their images so much is they don't add a lot of detail. So you see here the gift bags are just completely plain, so they're perfect to add colour. You know, whether you're using watercolours or your alcohol markers, you can get really nice shading. Yeah, just, just really, really easy to colour, and that's why I love them so much. You've also got some lovely sentiments here. You've got a little credit card, which I like. Hope your day is full of shoes and shopping. A birthday is no time for sensible shoes, and happy birthday, girlfriend. Love it. You've got the bill there. You've got shoes, hats, and everything else, so love it. And also, the good thing is, if you ever need any inf inspiration, you just type in for the love of stamps and shop till you drop, and you'll get all of the cards that the designers have made. And yeah, if you're stuck with you know what colours and how to colour them in, you'll be able to see what they've done. So it's always good. This one here is a grand adventure. And this one, I'm just looking on my invoice. This was also 199 The reason I actually was drawn to this one was because of this lovely creature here. I just think the bear looks wonderful. But I also like these trees and they're gonna be really nice for Christmas, you know, cards as well. So, you know, you can stamp them in like an embossed silver and then have like snow on them and there's so many different ways to use this stamp set not just as it's you know meant to be used it's more for like a traveling kind of theme but you do have have a very special day but i've got some lovely stamped balloon images and i had an idea of putting lots of balloons behind him um yeah i just think it's lovely and it's great for you know again if you do want to make some cards for a little boy or something i think that's always quite fun so again 1.99 bargain and then i've got this one here which is delightful decorating and this one was 2.99 and the reason again i love this one so much is i love these big kind of paintbrush strokes and you've got the paintbrush there so the idea is is you would stamp this and have the paintbrush kind of here so it looks like you've just painted it if you stamp it in like a light colour and then you can add your sentiments over the top or whatever it is you want really. But these will look great and I've got some really nice ideas. I need to do some new home cards as well. I love the roller. Again, the, and like I said, these are just very, very kind of timeless stamps. You know, how many people will always be decorating their home or buying a house, moving into somewhere? 
I just think they're great and I love it's got new home this one here is a lovely sentiment I've not seen this before happiness is decorating your new home and I think that's quite nice because everything I always see is usually just good luck in your new home or you know just new home so it was nice to have something a little bit different you color my world again really lovely sentiment so if you were to just stamp this in lots of different colors and have you color my world you know like rainbow colors it would just that's it card done so love that one like I said bargain for 2 99 and then I got this one here which is a slice of happiness this is probably up there as my favorite along with the donut one and this one here was 3.99 so all of them were reduced. Um, the reason I love this so much is that really nice large stamp there of that slice of birthday cake and that lovely big stamp there of the plate for it to go on. You've got the little um, candle and then you've got strawberry, you've got raspberry, you've got cherry, you've got a rose, you've got sprinkles, love the fork. Then you've got make a wish and then these two lovely sentiments which is hope your day is filled with extra icing and wishing you a big slice of happiness. And they're really easy to cut out or you can scan them through as well, stamp and scan them and then get them to cut them out. But I just think, yeah, love it. Really, really nice. Again, can't wait to make cards with these. You're going to really like them, I think. So that's that one. And then this is their new collection. So this is the Golden Oldies. They have papers and stuff to match, but I don't ever really get them. I just like the stamps. I've already taken them out of the packaging so you can see them a bit closely. Now these are more expensive and obviously smaller, but they are the new collection. And the Golden Oldies, they've done this before um, and they're just very classic stamps. Now this is my favourite one. So all of these are 4 99 each. And this one here, it's such a good image. If I show you, there's the image on the back. Okay, and it says, I'm not saying you're getting old, but we've started having to warn the fire brigade before we light your candles. I mean, that is brilliant. I think I love it. And again, I can't wait to colour it in. You can see how nice the, the image is. Then I got this one here, You Bake Me So Happy. And it's this lovely lady here stood in her kitchen with a cake. And then it's got the sentiment there, you bake me so happy. But the ideas I've had for this one as well is to mask off the background, have her stamped on a card and have again balloons and you could change the cake and stamp a different cake and have that in front of that one. So, and this would work well for Valentine's Day as well. And you can see how it looks on the back there. Really, really like these a lot. Another favorite are these cool dudes here. This is old friends. You've got these three guys here, each with a beer in their hand. He's got a mobile phone there and he's trying to take a selfie of the three of them. And he's there, got the peace sign behind his head. I just think it's really lovely. Old friends are the best friends. And there is a picture of it a little bit closer. So again, and really not, like I said, they're easy to color in. There's not a great deal of detail, i.e., you know, like wrinkles on the skin or all the hair strands that some places, some stamps do. I don't like that. I just like the outline. So that's what these have got. And then the last one here, this is Birthday Babe. And that's how she looks. And you can basically, on her sash, you can have Magic Mum, Special Friend, Glam Grandma or Birthday Babe. And I, th I love that. I thought that's really, really good. And then you've got Birthday Wishes there. And you've also got a little gift bag and the little um, parcel there or little um, presents balloons and a bouquet of flowers so yeah love them I saw them on the shopping channel the craft channel and I just thought yeah I want those but I went and looked at Hunky Dory and saw the better deal that they had so <laughs> I get my ideas sometimes from well, I can say it creating craft but I don't always shop there because they just they shoot their prices up ridiculously you can always find it much cheaper if you shop around which is what I do okay so that is this week's craft stash these have just absolutely blown me away and I can't wait to use these with my stamps because you know already I've got these lovely again those black backgrounds these usually will take me quite a while to do it's not something that's just done as quick as that that took literally a matter of minutes to create but these are going to look great now you know even like him you know imagine him just now stamped on there yeah just it's easy I love it <laughs> I'm going to shut up. Um, it's too nice outside now. I'm going to go and have a cold drink. Enjoy the sun. And yeah, enjoy this. I'll share all the links below as always. And I'll be back tomorrow with my Friday tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.